Hello everyone, welcome to this new review. It's great to have you all back with us. In today's video, we're going to talk about an extremely small and extremely important device that everyone knows and should have on every construction site. I'm talking about a laser distance meter. However, in today's review, we're not focusing on a typical device that everyone knows. Instead, I brought along the new device from Sigmund for you today, a bilateral distance meter. This means that the laser beam doesn't only come out from the top, but also from the bottom of this device. Further, it features a color display and several adjustment options. We'll explore what else this device has to offer, how it performs, and who would benefit from investing in it in today's video. That's why let's get started right away. But if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to not miss any future videos. You can find the current prices of this device below in the video description. And without further ado, let's get started after the intro. The new bilateral distance meter from Sigmund, the CD60, is a relatively affordable device compared to this one, while also having several features and specifications. I'm very excited to see what we can expect from this device in today's test. For this reason, let's not waste any time and start with the contents of the package, or rather the product box. As you can see, it's relatively unassuming. On the front, there's a large image and the corresponding name while the back provides some additional information, nothing special. So let's take a look at the package contents. As you can see, apart from the product box, there's a compact and handy carrying case to ensure the device is well protected. On the top, there's a zipper and a small loop for transportation. It's definitely extremely practical in that regard. Inside, we have the actual measuring device with all the accessories. The bag itself has, as you can see, two separate compartments. On one side, we have the user manual for the CD60, which comes with the package, and on the other side, we have the actual bilateral laser distance meter, not to forget the included Type-C charging cable. That's it. There's nothing more included. However, this is completely sufficient in this case, since it's just the accompanying items. Now, let's take a look at the actual laser distance meter. As you can see, this is the device, the new bilateral distance meter from Sigmund, the CD60. Regarding the first impression, I must say that the new CD60 from Sigmund, in my opinion, gives a rather high quality impression. This means that when you take a closer look at the device, you can see that it's not cheaply made. There are no plastic residues, no sharp edges or anything like that. It's housed in a high quality aluminum casing. In terms of size, we have the typical size of a laser distance meter compared to my usual companion, the Disto D2, and in terms of weight, the device is definitely not too heavy, weighing only 140 grams. The only downside in this regard is that if we take another quick look at the Leica Disto, you can see that it's made entirely of plastic with thick rubber around it. It doesn't feel as high quality, but it has the advantage of being robust. It means that if this device here falls down, there will undoubtedly be some dents directly on this beautiful aluminum casing. To prevent this from happening, as you can see, there's a hand strap attached directly on the right side. That's all for the external aspects of the device. Now, let's take a closer look at the important part, namely the front side. As you can see, the Sigmund CD60 has a built-in color display in the front, positioned just above the five buttons. The screen has a diagonal size of about 1.9 inches, which is nice and large, making it easy to read. The display also has an automatic dimming function that reduces brightness to save power. Otherwise, I must say that in the normal brightness setting as it is currently, the display is readable even outdoors. The only drawback is that there can be some reflections, but overall, I have to say that the display is definitely readable in daylight, even in direct sunlight. Not least because the display shows nice big numbers and symbols, so I can see easily what I've actually measured and what mode is currently set. Speaking of modes, I have to say that the CD60 has a lot of modes to offer. One of them is the ability to measure both horizontally and vertically. The screen and the numbers rotate accordingly, so I can always read what's currently displayed on the screen. 
I must say that the menu's designed in such a way that it's easy to understand what's being shown on the display. The Sigma CD60 is not just a regular laser distance meter. It's a really nice multifunctional device. You can see it here. I'm currently in the menu, which means we can easily measure length, and if I continue with the plus button, we can also measure areas. I can calculate side lengths and then calculate additional areas. I can also perform volume calculations with this device, and the device always shows me which side I should measure. But what's special about this device is not just the various modes, although they are extremely practical and make the device versatile. What I mean is that this is a bilateral distance meter. As I said, this means that a laser comes out from both the top and the bottom. We can measure in both directions simultaneously. With the button on the left side, we can tell the device from which point to measure. This is always displayed directly on the screen with an arrow, either from the top edge upward, from the center downward, or from the center in both directions. This brings the huge advantage that I can easily measure in the smallest corners or places where it would be difficult to reach with a regular laser distance meter. From my practical experience, I can say that this is extremely advantageous because I don't have to run to the end of the wall. I simply hold the device somewhere in the middle, then click on measure. The device measures to the left and to the right, adds it all up, and I have the complete length of the wall. Similarly, it's possible to measure the entire surface of a wall from one point. This means I don't have to measure from bottom to top and from left to right. I can choose a point somewhere in the middle, hold the device horizontally and vertically, and perform two measurements. It automatically calculates the whole area, and I have the complete surface of the wall. Not to forget, the device has built-in memory, so I can easily access the last 100 measurements I made with this device to review or check if I may have forgotten a value somewhere. Now, with this nice large measurement value displayed on the screen, the question arises, what is the device's maximum range? I have to say that according to the manufacturer's specifications, the CD60 has an impressive range of 120 meters. This refers to the bilateral measurement, meaning 60 meters in one direction and 60 meters in the other. Additionally, the laser distance meter has two built-in red lasers with a wavelength of 630 to 670 nanometers. In practice, they are visible in daylight. At 50 meters and beyond, it becomes challenging to see the laser point at the end, but I believe that very few people will need to measure beyond 100 meters. Regarding the most important point, which is accuracy, I must say that the CD60 also performs well. In comparison to the Leica Disto D2, I conducted several comparative measurements in practice, and the difference was in the third decimal place, meaning in the millimeter range. It should be noted that the CD60 has a stated accuracy of plus or minus 2 millimeters, and I would say that this is noticeable in the test. This means differences of 2 to a maximum of 5 millimeters, which I believe is sufficient for the majority of use cases. What else does the device have to offer? Of course, battery life is very important. I must say that it is equipped with a lithium battery with a total capacity of 850 milliampere hours, so the device should last for a good while. The maximum runtime is specified as 4 hours. From practical experience, I can say that those who regularly take measurements with the display on continuously should be able to get through about 3 hours without any problems. Additionally, it's worth noting that the charging port is located on the right side, and the device can be charged with USB Type-C, which means you can recharge this laser distance meter practically anywhere. And let's not forget, it also includes a hidden magnet on the back, concealed under the casing, which allows the laser distance meter to easily attach to metal surfaces. I must say from experience that the magnet is really strong, so the device won't fall off even if you accidentally bump into something. So, all in all, the new bilateral laser distance meter from Sigmund, the CD60, is definitely a good device. My recommendation goes to those who are looking for an affordable laser distance meter with a variety of features and calculation modes, and for those who want to take measurements quickly where an accuracy of plus or minus 3 millimeters is acceptable. As I mentioned before, you can find the current prices of this device in the video description below. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this bilateral laser distance meter. I'm looking forward to your feedback. 
And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up to support my work. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And with that, I'll say goodbye and see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.